This is Silver Oak 2005 Cabernet Sauvignon Alexander Valley. Now this is the other Silver Oak. The Napa Valley Silver Oak is perhaps the most famous. The Alexander Valley is their other wine and perhaps the wine that you maybe see more often. They make a little more of it maybe. It's a little bit less price-wise, but it's um, an equally um, refined and expressive California Cabernet. Um, like the Napa Valley wine, it's 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. And they select the lots, do the blending, and then they age the wine for a full 25 months in American oak barrels, 50% new, 50% one year old. After that, they age it in their cellar in the bottle for 15 months. So again, like the Napa wine, their, their approach is to make a wine that's fully finished and ready to drink when they release it. That bottle age you know, uh, softens out all the rough tannins, brings out some of the complexity in the wine, lets it, lets it develop. And um, so what you get is a wine that's, that's complete when it reaches your glass. Mm. The nose has a really pretty cedar note. Sort of the first thing that hits me. Then I get some Um, some black currants, some black cherries, a little hint of um, chocolate. Mm. It's really nice. Let's taste. Yeah, big, rich, ripe. Um, there's a real nice, full, rich mid palate to this wine. Really sort of opens up on the palate. Um, gives you a real mouth filling sensation. Wonderful cherry, black cherry fruit, along with um, cocoa, dark chocolate, some smoky earthy, toasty notes along with that. There's a, a definite dose of tannin in here um, that sort of give you a little bit of uh, a little grip sides of your mouth. But um, they don't really pull away from that really nice core of fruit. Um, very well structured wine, very well put together wine. Um, and also, you know, these wines have, have shown that over the years they will continue to age and mature beautifully in your cellar, you know, should you have the patience to lay them down and uh, not pull them out and drink them, which is what I want to do. Um, this is the kind of wine that's just a wonderful match for, for a dry aged um, New York strip steak, something like that. Good stuff. Enjoy.